Guys, I want you to take a look at when Dino was mocking himself. Remember when Dino was mocking himself? Papa way nowhere, mama way nowhere. You see him? Emiloko, Emiloko, Papa way nowhere. You see him? This was when Dino was mocking himself. Look how he fell down on the floor. Today, Dino is the one that everybody is mocking. He's now the one. Look at him. Today, he's, he's the one that fainted. Though. Take a look at him. He's fainted. He fainted. He's crying. He's weeping. And now they are trying to help him out. I want you to take a look at Dino. Today, Dino have nothing to write him about. People are trying. Right now, you look at Nigeria. The texture of the criminality <clears throat> that is forming the basis of Nigeria. What would you say? Would you say you love Nigeria? Would you say you are proud to be a Nigeria? Would you say this is the Nigeria of your dream? And I'm talking to AP supporters, Tinubu supporters, and Tinubu himself. Now, I know that what I'm going to say will make no sense whatsoever, particularly if you are that type that believe in cheating. But if you look at the issue from the one that is cheating, you probably not see what I'm saying. But if you look at it from the one who is going to employ, imagine if you have a company and somebody is uh, seeking employment in your company and you know that that person cheated in... Oh, country people, country people. That is uh, Dino Malai, who were mocking the president during campaign. You know, talking, he was on stage, falling, kind of telling the, the nation that the president is not fit. The president always collapsed. Because he is sick, don't vote for him. But it is it was politics, you understand me? But he went too far. But today is the one collapsing, deceiving himself. For me, he is sick, or uh, he is fainting, making the noise hum, 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 like dog. Did you think uh do you know Malaya is behaving like this? Because he cared for Nigerians or he cared for Kogi people, it's for himself. The opportunity for him to be the governor is not there. That's the reason why he is for me, he is fainting to attract sympathy. But they can't fool us because we know Dino Malayi is, a, is, Dino Malayi is actor, he hurts. This is what they do. Not that they care for the people of Kogi. But for themselves. And again, if Dino Malaye is in APC and they are ringing in his favor, you think he will be behaving like this? He will support it. That's what some of them don't know. We are not saying rigging election is good. We don't support any government that is ringing election. No, we don't. I'm not talking about the wounded, I'm talking about we, the wounded civilian. We know all this election. It's not fair and fair. 
We don't support it. But the problem here is this. Both the people in APC that is ringing this election and the, both the people in PDP and Labour, they are all the same. Because if they rig in favor of, of uh, Dino, he will not be behaving like this. He will not be behaving like this. So let, the, let them not come and be behaving their assent. They are doing all this. This acting is doing it for Nigerians. You see, somebody like Magnus, the, the, the stupid Magnus, I was watching some of his videos. He was saying, lady, lady, are you proud of Nigeria? You APC supporter? Are you proud of this? Are you proud of uh, uh, Nigeria now with the way things are going? My guy, shut your mouth. After the presidential election, you tore your, your card or you burnt your card. You say you will not involve or talk about Nigerian politics again. If you are a man, you would have stick to that and stop making your, running your mouth. Stop running your mouth. You see, after the presidential election, people like us were telling, telling Obi, congratulate the president. Tell the world, you are not satisfied with the INEC or the Supreme Court judgment. But because of the sake of to build that country, Nigeria, you accepted it, you accept it, and tell the world you will do whatever you can to support the president. You can go ahead and do your position work, criticize the president whenever he, he do something that is not right, that is, that is wrong. But Obi didn't do that. He was inciting his followers. And he know those of his followers, the IPOB miscants, IPOB terrorists, IPOB criminals, terrorists. He was inciting them, telling them to go ahead, to rubbish this government, to blackmail this government, to destroy that country, the, the image of that country. That was what that stupid press conference was all about. He knows he did not win that election. If he's intelligent, a sensible politician, he would have accepted what the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court judgment, if you care for that country, if you believe, if you believe in, you know, development of that country, you will just say it with your mouth, okay, I congratulate the president. And in your mind, go and do whatever you can to remove or to preside, you know, fight the, uh, the government. But he didn't do that. He want to do gri, gri by coming out, telling them he did not accept the Supreme Court judgment. The Supreme Court that made him governor in the past, that is double standard. And again, and again, what you people don't know, this uh, APC, uh, I mean PDP, Labour Party miscreants. APC have their followers, just like you have your own followers. The PDP followers who voted for uh, article in the north, you think they give a shit about Obi? They, even though you conduct election today, will vote for Obi. They voted for Atiku because they want Atiku, a not a man, to remain in power. They don't give a shit about you. They are not on social media running their mouth, disturbing, making noise, constituting nuisance like you, Labour Party fan, followers. They don't give a shit about you. Now they know that a Southern man like Tinubu is the president. They are waiting for eight years. For another man to contest, they will vote for that another man. You think they will ever vote for somebody like, uh, they will vote for somebody like Obi? Let's say four years time there will be another election. They will vote for somebody like Obi. They will vote for this term Tinubu to complete his eight years. They will vote for Tinubu to complete his eight years so that the power will return back to the, no to the north. And again, like I said before, ABC have his own followers who don't really believe in this rigging. Who is not even satisfied? Who is not even happy about how things are going in Nigeria? But because you people declare war against this government, that's the reason why. Except people, even like people like me, because you people dare us and say you are going to do whatever you can to rob this government. And when you rob this government, when you are distracting this government, the poor masses suffer. And we will not allow that to happen. Look at uh, Samuel Ekba running his mouth. There will be no election. There will be no election in any more states. The same thing he was doing before in Anabra that there will be no election in Anabra state. The first election, he said there will be no election in Anabra, and there was election. 
uh, when uh, uh, Oban was fighting for his second term, there was election. He said there will not be, there will be no election in Anabra when uh, Soludo were coming. There was election. They make their they run their mouth again. There will be no election in Imo. They just conducted another election in Imo now. Where is Samelepa? The only thing you can do you can, is to intimidate people, force them to sit at home. Whether you try to stop this governorship election, you would have known that Nigeria keeping quiet, allow you people to, you would have understand that, yes, Nigeria is indeed a sovereign nation. Indeed a sovereign nation. Running your mouth, there will be no election. The election in Imo uh, by yes and the rest, I'm not that impressed. But for you people to come out, people like this stupid Magnus, to come out and say Imo state people vote against uh, uh, Opus or Dima, I mean, you don't care about these people there. You are, you, that anger, you don't like Tinubu, you don't like APC. No. Opus or Dima is saving life there. As long as any government that is not in good terms with IPOB criminal, you are my friend. As long as Opus or Dima is fighting, saving life in Imo state. We, we, we will continue to support you. Anything against that POB criminals, you can come and say they should remove a man that is saving his people, a man that is fighting that POB criminals. No, 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 no. Once you do that, you are our enemy. Anything against Tinubu is our enemy. Support this government, even though you don't like him. Support this government and let them succeed. Because if you fail, Nigeria fail. The poor masses will suffer it. All this noise people are making. As OB take the half followers who support him. APC half followers. Labour Party half followers. The Nigeria is for everybody. Everybody is feeling, you know, like you know, Nigeria, we know that we have problem in Nigeria. Don't 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 be saying it as if OB is the same that, that is coming to save the whole country. OB is part of this elite. So give give Tinubu a chance. He's not going to rule Nigeria forever. If you don't, if he fucked up, all of us will fight against him. Twenty twenty-seven. But you must give him that chance. You must show to Nigerians that election is over. We are not satisfied with the Supreme Court judgment, but you are ready to support this government to do whatever you can so that Nigerian masses will be okay. My name is the Wonder Civil. Thank you and God bless.